garbage. And more garbage. A growing problem for our entire planet. Electricity. Something our modern world demands more and more of every day. It would be a dream come true if we could convert what we don't want into what we need. The ACTI Waste to Energy Conversion Technology is not limited to trash, otherwise known as MSW. It can also convert used tires, coal, wood chips, sugar cane, dried sewage sludge, animal waste, plastics, and even medical waste. The process involves three steps. In step one, trash is first sorted, removing all recyclables, including glass, metal, and stone. What remains is ground up and thoroughly mixed to produce a well-balanced feedstock. In step two, this feedstock is distilled using a pyrolysis system to extract energy-rich gas, which is then stored in tanks. Step three takes this gas and feeds it to a genset, which, as you can hear, fires right up. This completes the entire process and produces the desired end product, electricity, from everyday trash. Let's take a closer look at step two, since that's where all the magic happens. The feedstock is continuously fed into ACTI's highly efficient pyrolysis system. It is important to note that the processed materials are indirectly heated in a closed oven-like chamber, known as a retort, where temperatures reach 900 to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the type of feedstock being processed. This heated environment is oxygen deprived, ensuring the feedstock never burns, but rather is distilled into its basic chemical components, which are all flammable and energy rich. This pyrogas is removed from the retort, pressurized and then stored. The feedstock enters the retort through a double valve airlock where a vacuum is pulled to ensure the retort remains oxygen starved. The feedstock is then transported via an auger system through a series of retorts until the pyrolysis process is complete, at which point the remaining non-volatile carbon-based ash is removed from the system via a second set of double valve airlocks. This ash is either biochar or carbon black, depending on the makeup of the original feedstock. It bears repeating that the feedstock is never burned and in fact never comes into contact with an open flame or even air during the pyrolysis process. The retorts are heated by a specially designed super low NOx ACTI burner. That means the only emissions from this process come from the super low NOx burner and nothing else. The system is self-sustaining because a small amount of the pyrogas is used to fuel the burner. The system is initially started with propane or natural gas, which is turned off once the system has reached its operating temperature and starts producing its own gas. It should be noted that California is known for having some of the strictest emission standards for burners in the world. Of course, the primary value of this pyrolysis system is the gas it extracts from the feedstock, which is used to run the generator to produce electricity. However, electricity is not the only output option for the ACTI pyrolysis system. ACTI has developed a proprietary pyrogas to liquids technology that is capable of producing various types of liquid fuels and petroleum waxes. Clearly, there is tremendous value in taking unwanted resources and converting them into valuable energy commodities while reducing our dependency on traditional energy sources. Finally, we can clean up the earth and nurse Mother Nature back to health. <laughs>